let's look at how to use a dictionary in Python. So a dictionary, so I can have a equals open and close curly brace, is a dictionary here. A dictionary is also called an associative array. And what that means is that you have, instead of a normal index to some object in a list, you have a name to some object in this dictionary. So sometimes you call it uh, associative arrays, sometimes dictionaries, sometimes hash tables. The thing is, it's all the same. So I can say A, and then I'm going to say name equals Alice. What that does is it creates an index name. The word name is the index to Alice. I can also do age equals 25. So these are now both inside of the dictionary. If I type in A, I can print out the contents of the dictionary. You can see that name is Alice and age is 25. If I want to retrieve data from this dictionary, I can use the name of the object or again. So A name and returns Alice or A age returns the age. I can also update individual things inside of this. I can also put lists in there. So maybe Alice has a list of favorites. So I can say A fave list equals and then I open a open close list. So now if I do a fave list, I can append something to that list. So maybe she um, likes chocolate. And maybe she also likes something else. Let's see. Maybe marbles. If I print out A, I can see everything that's in here. You can see that there is a name right there, an age, and you can see a fave list with a list of items in it. Now, one thing that is not immediately obvious right here is that name, age, and fave list are not ordered. That means that age and name be orderly swapped. It's not an ordered thing. It's not an ordered list like lists are. Now, chocolate and marbles are ordered in the fave list, but the keys, name, age, and fave list, are not ordered or in any particular order. They can be any order and it's fine. It's the same thing. You just need to retrieve them one at a time. Now, if you were to store multiple dictionaries, you can put multiple dictionaries into a list as well. So I can say list of dictionaries and maybe a list right there and list of dictionaries and A. So if I list my of dictionaries dictionaries you can see that I have a list now you can see open and close square bracket for the list opening the uh, close curly brace right here for the dictionary inside of the dictionary you have a name followed by a colon with a value you have a name followed by a comma then a name followed by a colon a value and then you have a comma and another name followed by a colon and a value. If you want to remove things from lists, you can easily do that as well. 
you can remove things, you can modify things and do other things. One thing you want to do is probably take a look at the instructions for a dictionary. So you can do help A, because that's the dictionary, or you could do help dict, D-I-C-T. So let's go ahead and look at the text and see what things are here. You can create an empty dictionary just by doing that, or you can just assign it the way I do right here. You can scroll down into the actual methods. You can do clear, copy, get, items, keys, pop, pop item, and set default, update, values. And so these can be used to retrieve information. Uh, one thing to keep in note of is if you have a dictionary and you say A equals B, and B happens to be a dictionary, um, it doesn't necessarily copy it exactly the way you expect. It does kind of a index copy. You can do a shallow copy, which is just the basic base keys, or you can do deep copies, which is a little harder. Um, but just keep that in mind that it's not always the same. Um, lists inside of dictionaries might be exactly the same list inside of two different dictionaries. And your keys, you can retrieve all your keys, but if you want to do anything like ordering the keys, you need to put them into some kind of a list in order to order them. So I could put all the keys into a list and then I could sort the list and then I could use the list to iterate over all of the keys and retrieve the values in some kind of an order. Anyway, Hopefully this will help you basically with your dictionaries.